gonna consider how to work on pick station <coughs> pick station based on usually pick station is used to determine which server you go to saying if you walk into a bank and the people behind the counter and there are like three employees you're gonna decide which one you head to okay so first condition you would consider number of people in the queue waiting at every uh, counter person okay so definitely by default you choose the queue with less people in it as well as another condition you consider if the employee is busy or not so by default you choose the one who is free and you avoid the one who is busy okay then the pick station will route the entity to the appropriate employees so let's start to see how it's done but before i start please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more views okay if you have any question write to my email address so i'm gonna start arena basic process we have create and dispose okay so advanced transfer we have station pick station and then we have station one station two okay and process and process two so let's see how this is done so this is system n and customer if you're not familiar with arena you should uh, watch the videos arena for beginners or any videos which is a start up for arena from lesson one to lesson eight so in, in case we have one person coming every five minutes on average so we do it as random expo five minutes so one person every five minutes on average and this is main door main door station and this is counter one counter one station and this is counter two counter two station <coughs> so this is counter one operator Seize delay release and operator and his name is Tony and so the time is on exponential random exponential uh, six minutes and so I'm gonna duplicate this so we have here counter to operator and make sure you change the name of the operator otherwise you will end up doing the job for the two people so this is counter to and system out so we do to click on here so it will be permanent and we do all the connection of the system so we pick station number in queue which mean here and we have to operate counter one counter two tony and george so the number in queue first if tony and george they are busy and if it's free definitely we go to the one who is free less number of people in the queue in front of tony and less number of people in queue in front of george and number of people on the route to the station how many one on the way so we have counter one station count on operator you have to make sure they're all the same and this is Tony so this is okay and add counter to station counter to operator and this is George and the route is 10 minutes okay so if I need so this will be the main door this will be K 
Carter 1 the station this will be Carter 2 station and I'm gonna link those two as I've done here and voila and uh, and I'm gonna change the entity picture to a woman and I'm gonna slow it down and run it and before I run it I'm gonna do one more thing so bring this one here and bring this one here and because whenever you run it so this is counter one when you run it all those they will disappear so you have to uh, uh, write on top of the animation so in order to appear and this is the main door so we're gonna run it to see how does it work so we have the first button and it goes to counter one by default okay so we could see they are on both of the system how it's behaving for both of us for both parts of the system and in this way it works the pick station between the two so i have to repeat the pick station it works on selecting the one who is free they are both be select the one with less number of people in the queue okay